Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have another Battlefield 6 video and there is a lot to cover. We have a name leak for the next game. We have release dates for both the teaser trailer and the launch date for the game. We have a new game mode leak, which is probably the most bizarre leak I've heard of as of yet regarding Battlefield 6. And we have an EA survey that was sent out to Battlefield fans that talks about possible features and fans' opinions on those features that they may implement into Battlefield 6. Before we get into it though, if you do enjoy the video, please do subscribe to the channel. We do everything Battlefield over here. So if you're a Battlefield fan, this could be the channel for you. So the first set of leaks comes from the Twitter account Colobri1, everybody's favorite pistol. And it talks about a number of different leaks that we've discussed before. And it has some credibility as a channel as it did talk about incredible next-gen destructible environments in the next game, which is a leak that has proven to be correct. Although I do think anybody and their mother could probably figure out the next Battlefield game will have next-gen destructible environments. So I guess from this Twitter account, everything we hear maybe take with a pinch of salt. But let's dive into what they actually talk about then. Well, Kalobi 1 states that the next Battlefield game, Battlefield 6, as we've been referring to it as, will not be called Battlefield 6 and maybe just Battlefield. Now, on its own, I wouldn't think much of this, but other leakers like Tom Henderson have been making murmurings around Battlefield 6 not actually being entitled Battlefield 6. But most interestingly though, Kalobi1 talks about the release dates for the teaser trailer and the launch date for the game. He puts the teaser trailer launch window between May the 11th and June the 21st. So quite a wide window and a little bit disappointing as I was hoping to see the teaser trailer in April around this Easter weekend coming. But it looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But the biggest takeaway from his tweets was what he wrote in Morse code which supposedly is the launch date for Battlefield 6. And once you translate the Morse code, it translates into October the 25th, 2021. So this leaker suggests Kalobi 1 that Battlefield 6 will be launching on October the 25th, 2021. But as I said, guys, take it with a pinch of salt. What I really wanted to talk about was the leak over on Reddit though, which has far more credibility behind it. They have provided proof that they are in contact with someone who is close to the development of Battlefield 6. Now, obviously, names haven't been provided for confidentiality reasons. However, this leak does seem a little bit more viable, although it is the most bizarre one I've ever heard. First off, they confirm Battle Royale is in the game, which personally I'm not opposed to, providing they focus on the multiplayer elements first and then use any spare resources to develop the Battle Royale. I think for me, Battle Royale as a genre is getting pretty stale. Warzone is a bit of a grind nowadays, and I do think Battlefield could bring a breath of fresh air to this genre. It then goes on to talk about 128 player game modes, which we've heard about before, although it goes into a little bit more depth, saying that the 128 player game modes are in addition and are not the primary focus of the development team, the primary modes are going to most likely be around that 64 player mark, but there will be these additional modes, let's say, that focus on the 128 players, but they're not, you know, the, the main crux of what the game is going for, if that makes sense. The leaker goes on to say that Wake Island, Operation Metro and Operation Locker are confirmed maps for Battlefield 6. So some fan favorites there for us, and I would be keen to play them again for myself in the next generation of Battlefield. Moreover, the leaker goes on to talk about destruction, and the innovation in destruction will be on smaller scales. So think about kind of digging holes with grenade launchers into the topography of the map, rather than kind of massive in innovations when it comes to large scale destruction. Obviously, there's going to be massive improvements, but this is kind of where they're thinking as a development team right now. They've moved away from the planned Levolution events they had, making the game kind of less scripted and more dynamic than it once was. But, but, the weirdest part of the leak suggests that Battlefield 6 will act as a hub for all the previous Battlefield games. So, what do I actually mean by this? Well, essentially, you'll be able to boot up servers playing any of the past Battlefield games. So, for example, you'll be able to load 1942 Battlefield maps 
whilst also playing with Battlefield 3 weapons and vehicles on those maps. Or you could have Panzer tanks versus M1 Abram tanks. In addition, there will be settings that allow you to tweak the core gameplay mechanics, such as, you know, not being able to prone, which was prevalent in Bad Company. Obviously, I don't see these being the core game modes as just balancing alone would be impossible. But this does signal some kind of a turn to a rent a server program or community games. And any kind of customization where you can play Battlefield in you know, more weird and wonderful ways and tweak around with servers, make mini games, tanks versus tanks, different eras across all the different maps is, is good news really for us Battlefield fans. It looks like this could be fantastic. But it's just so, so out the blue and such a curveball. We've heard no leak like this. At least I haven't heard of anything along these lines when it comes to leaks. So whether it's credible, I don't know. But he does say and he has provided evidence that he is in close contact with someone. And it's not something that's completely unforeseeable, but a curveball to say the least. And then finally, we have the EA survey that was sent out to Battlefield fans that asked their feelings about the Battle Pass, Platoon and Clan systems, free-to-play elements, evolving maps and weapon blueprints. Now, this supports some of the leaks that we've already discussed in this video, but then contradicts some. For example, asking fans about their feelings on a Battle Pass and free-to-play elements does tentatively support the idea of a Battle Royale in the game as battle pass and free to play elements do kind of go in tandem with the battle royale genre. It's also interesting that they ask about the platoon and clan systems. Platoon and clan systems have been in the battlefield franchise for a very long time. However, it would be cool to see if they make any innovations in this area. Contradictory to what we've discussed though, they are asking about evolving maps. Now, the leak on Reddit would have us believe that they're moving away from Levolution, yet asking fans about evolving maps does seem to suggest otherwise. And as I said, everything has to be taken with a pinch of salt. Maybe they're asking about evolving maps and they found that fans aren't particularly fussed or worried or actually do not like scripted events in the game. But we'll have to wait and see. And then finally, they talk about weapon blueprints, which is something that is prevalent in Call of Duty Warzone. And maybe they're thinking about bringing to Battlefield. But that about concludes all the leaks and rumors from the EA surveys to the Reddit leaks to the Calibri leaks on Twitter. I'll be interested to get your thoughts specifically on the Battlefield 6 acting as a hub for previous Battlefield games. Whether you think that has any credibility to it, would you want to see something like that implemented into the game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But with that being said, have a great day, boys. If you did enjoy, please subscribe and see you on the next one.